More smart thermal scanners are on the way to help ease congestion at popular venues, thanks to new artificial intelligence that can upgrade basic systems. With it, the scanners can screen multiple people at once and even identify those not wearing masks. Geraldine Yap with the story. Q, get your temperature taken, wait for the all clear, repeat. It's a process many have become accustomed to when they enter buildings. It's also often slow and labour-intensive. GovTech software that's been installed in this machine could solve that. SpotOn helps basic scanners screen up to 10 people at any one time. It'll send an alert to the operator if anyone's temperature exceeds 37.5 degrees Celsius. It's also able to pick up people who are not wearing masks. The thermal scanner has an accuracy range of between 0.3 and 0.5 degrees Celsius and can work both indoors and outdoors. It can also detect human faces up to 2 meters away. Spoton's developers say the software helps make low-cost scanners more similar to higher-end models used in airports and some MRT stations. These can cost more than $10,000. Through uh, various um, uh, deep, deep learning models, we have trained these models in such a way that they can actually compensate for a lot of the flaws in, uh, say, noisy or a lower cost hardware. There's a lot of fluctuations of the temperature in your surroundings. All that contributes to noise, which you measure from, say, the face. Uh, so our, our machine learning uh, algorithms compensate for all of that and more to, to, to bring out, to bring out the, the best in the device. The improved scanners have been deployed since April at locations including Downtown East and the Supreme Court. Four local companies have been licensed to use the software for free. They can use it on hardware they purchase and sell the scanners commercially. And SpotOn could get smarter in the coming months. GovTech plans to improve the software so that it can detect heart rate or show how much oxygen people have in their blood.